Guys, they said Toby and the Ashley are frightened over the new Queen Naomi. As in, Queen Naomi have shown them that she is no longer the same old girl that, is, that looks as if she is afraid of them. That the way Queen Naomi is given to every one of them, serious woto woto this time, they have decided that it is high time they make a move. Information have it that Queen Naomi came to the palace unexpected, uninvited. She took over everything. She surprised Kabiesi. And Kabiesi was still surprised. She surprised uh, Igbi and the, the rest of them. Because they said she stormed the palace, spent the night with Kabiesi. They said it was two nights that she spent. And this time she did not come with Tade Nikau. You know that the reason it looks as if uh, Kwenami is afraid of coming to the palace is because of Tade Nikawo. Because Tade Nikawo is just a minor who doesn't know uh, his left from his right. You know? And the reason why Kwenami have been avoiding the palace all this time is because of Tade Nikawo. Right now, she has made up her mind that it is time for her to stand up and take back her throne. And they say she came to the palace. Kabiesi was surprised and shocked and at the same time happy. And they say Kabiesi hug hugged her. Very tight, I refused to let go. As in, he was he wasn't expecting it. And the women are running helter skelter. As if that is not enough. They said the next morning, Queen Naomi organized a meeting, organized the women and had a brief meeting with them, appreciating them uh, on what they have done, and also assured them that she is back for good. That they shouldn't be afraid of uh, uh, her, she not coming back that she have made it clear to everyone that they will see her return back to the palace when they least expected it. Because this time around, she's not going to be waiting for KBSC to announce date or anything. That she is going to surprise both their enemies and their friends. That this time around, she is out for the palace, my people. They said, when uh, Olori TikTok and uh, Ashley hears about this, they were disappointed. You know that they thought that Kwenomi will run forever. They thought that Kwenomi will always be afraid of returning forever, not knowing that uh, Kwenomi's God have told her to make a move. And information have been right now that Kwenomi made it clear to Kabi said that she is working based on the direction of the Holy Spirit. That they have told her that it is time she take over her throne. That what they give to her, she must take care of it. And the second BSC was just dumbfounded. I don't even know the right word to use. So, uh, you know that Ashley have been looking for a way to reconcile with Queen Naomi if all the information we are hearing about them is the truth. But Queen Naomi have not given her such opportunity. My people. And all of there was a time we heard that she said she's tired of uh, uh, begging Queen Naomi and looking for her face and everything. That this time, anyhow, she wants it, she's going to give it to her. That is what they said, Ashley said about Queen Naomi then, allegedly. So, right now that she heard that Queen Naomi is out to give it to anyone the way they want it, they said the same Ashley came to their uh, WhatsApp group. You know, they have their WhatsApp group where they, uh, they shared information and all of that. They said Ashley came to that WhatsApp group. And they uh, started writing a piece too. You know that she's very good in writing. Yes, she can write an, an episode in less than <laughs> in, in less than five minutes. She can write. Yes, yeah, she's brilliant anyway. Let's not just deny her that. But the fact remains that they don't have good hearts. So they said in her write-up in their WhatsApp group, she was telling them that look, that she have done her examination very well. And she had found out that. If they continue like this, they are never going to enjoy this marriage with KBS. And the only the, the worst mistake that they, 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 that all of them made was not recognizing that what KBS feels for Queen Naomi is what no one can take away from him. No matter how hard you try, no matter what you use against him, that they will surely come back together because their love is inseparable. That is what they said uh, Ashley was writing. You know? that they all make that mistake because had it been they know that the only person that find out the truth and is enjoying the benefit right now is Dr. Elizabeth. That is a mistake they all made, but they are, she is ready to correct it and she is urging every one of them to correct the same mistake. And how do they correct the mistake? By teaming up to support KBSC to go for phenomenon. And this time it's not by saying it, but with all their uh, mind and hearts, let them accept Queen Naomi. 
because that is the only way they can enjoy their own marriage with Kabiesi. But as long as they are fighting Queen Naomi, that Kabiesi will always push them aside because Queen Naomi is the love of Kabiesi's life and no one can deny him that. No one can take away that from him. That even though that Queen Naomi make us also made a mistake by not accepting them, by always showing them that she is greater than them, even when most of them have degrees and qualifications more than her, that uh, uh, Queen Naomi also made her own mistake, but her problem is her pride, that she has pride, but they should not look uh, at all those things, because right now it is them that is highly affected. Because the second Naomi came, and she took over the palace. And you know that when she took over and you are fighting her, she will just put you by the side because Kabiesi, she has Kabiesi's full support. There is nothing you can do. That is what they say Ashley was telling everyone. That it is high time they embrace peace so, and to prove to the whole world that they can live peacefully. You know, even with Queen Naomi. That if there's anything they are going to do right now to uh, let Queen Naomi know that they are very sorry for the way they treated her and they are ready to embrace her and make peace that they should try and do it that is what they said um that is what they said ashley was telling them in the group so and everyone was surprised though when uh, uh, uh toby on the other side commented by saying that everything he just said is the truth that she have examined the whole thing she have asked herself several questions how happy she was with kbsc until she started fighting with Naomi, until she thought that now that she has children for KBC, that she's, KBC is going to treat her better than with Naomi, only for her to realize that there is nothing, there is nothing that can make KBC to see her the way she is seeing with Naomi. And the, the worst part of it is that KBC is not, doesn't look their way again. KBC doesn't know that they exist. That fight, instead of fighting with Naomi, that it is good that they make peace. At least with that, Kabiesi will once in a while remember that they are his wife. Because if they continue with the way they are moving, that a time will come when this home, when Kabiesi will call this a quit because he's not driving peace. There is no source of peace and happiness from them. They said everyone was shocked. And I said, now wow, the fear of new Queen Naomi is the beginning of wisdom. Hey, <laughs> don't be smart, you know. See, when I hear this information, I said to myself, if this information is true, Mm -hmm. That is to tell you that Queen Naomi was the one who just gave them the hand for them to misbehave in. Because I, I said it earlier that if Queen Naomi will stand her ground and put the, and show these people that she is in charge, all of them will go and rest. I bet you they will go and rest. Both the old and the uh, uh, both all these uh, old cargoes and the, the young ones among them. And I said this is the handwork of God. Queen Naomi should continue in this way if this information is true, okay? Because I will always remind Remind you that these are all alleged information. They are not for stand information, okay? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and share my video. Bye. I love you guys.